It's 8.45 a.m. and only the lucky few have found themselves a parking space. We need to do something to change the parking regulations on campus because there is just not enough parking. The university hasn't done enough. We have a restriction on car parking spaces. We, we can't create new spaces and I don't think that's what we should be doing anyway because we should be encouraging um, people to travel sustainably. So for example, if I drop my children off at nine o'clock in the morning to start school, by the time I get into university, it's about 9.40, 9.50. If there was a parking spot, then I could be on time to a 10 o'clock class. But there are no parking spots. So you either have to pay extra money to sit and park and ride day after day, week after week, year after year, or you have to be late. Just do not permit students to park on campus unless they have some other special circumstances. Unusually, this university allows students to park on campus with spaces limited. And, and we just has an air pollution problem. We need to be supporting the city council to try and reduce that, to try and reduce congestion and encourage people to um, travel as, as sustainably as possible. It is difficult, we don't deny that. It's difficult for our students and staff. It's also difficult for us to, to manage and we want to make it as easy as possible. On one hand, we have those who say we should be saving the environment. On the other hand, we have staff who say limited parking affects their teaching. With a thousand parking permit applications received, for only approximately 400 spaces, it's clear that this problem won't be solved anytime soon. This is Ian Sheridan for Winchester News Online.